What's up y'all? This is Andy Story with Wild Lumens and today's video is all about making carnivore style ice cream. The reason we're making ice cream today is because I just got a new carnivore cookbook from Primal Edge Health and I went through all the recipes and the one that stuck out was ice cream because I haven't had ice cream for about three years ever since I got on this carnivore diet journey. We're gonna do two methods of making ice cream today. One in which we stay true to the recipe called out in the carnivore cookbook where we make it, whisk it, put it in the freezer, let it freeze, take it out and then eat it. And the other method using the same ingredients called out in the cookbook where we use our trusty ice cream maker to see if that helps with the taste and the consistency and make it a little more ice cream style. So we've never done this before. This is all brand new, totally experimental. Yes. Like I said, stay with us until the end because at the end of this video, we're gonna have some special invited guests to give us their feedback on which style they prefer and tastes better. Let's go. Subscribe now. Let's go over our ingredients we'll be using in our raw carnivore diet ice cream. Here we have our grass-fed, pasture-raised eggs from Awesome Chickens. Then we have our most important ingredient, raw grass-fed heavy cream. We also added vanilla extract, which isn't called out in the recipe, but some people like vanilla, so you could add it if you want to. Just use a tiny amount. And fourth, we have honey. That's for one batch. Now we're going to add our raw heavy cream to our whisking bowl. Now we can add our egg yolk. Lock the whisk in. Now we're gonna do this for 30 seconds to one minute. We're gonna add a little vanilla extract, even though this is not carnivore. We're done whisking, so we're going to take our ingredients and go ahead and pour it in this glass bowl. Now the, the recipe calls out covering it and then putting it in the freezer. Make sure you get it airtight. Now we're gonna put it in the freezer for four hours, take it out and see what it tastes like. We're gonna do the same exact thing we just did to make the same exact recipe. Then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator to chill it, bring it back out and use our trusty ice cream maker to churn our ice cream and have an instant flavorful ice cream blast. It's been four hours in our unchurned method of Raw carnivore ice cream should be ready to eat. Let's take a look. This mix here has been chilling in the refrigerator for four hours, so it's nice and cold and ready to be poured into the ice cream maker. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay. Now we just wait. Check it out guys. Look at all this beautiful ice cream forming off the inner edges of this freezing nitrogen cooled container. That was about 10, 15 minutes and the ice cream is ready to be placed 
in this glass bowl. It looks really, really good. There we have it, a bowl full of ice cream. Let's compare the two. So this was our, the one on your right is our original recipe where we didn't put in the ice cream maker and churn. And this one here is the churned ice cream made ice cream. So let's go ahead and do a couple taste tests and see how this thing really, really tastes. Today we have our special guest in the house, Emily Cebu, who's gonna help me taste test this carnivore style ice cream. Welcome. Hello, thank you. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Yes. All right, well, I think first things first is we should probably just start eating because this one's already almost okay. completely thawed. So this is the churned one. Yeah, that's churned. Okay, here we go. Oh, super creamy. Okay. It's good. Okay, so now try that one. Okay. This is the, just the frozen one. A little more icy. Icy? Mm hmm Okay. Not as creamy. All right, let me try. This is the churned. It's good. Yeah, super creamy. It kind of throws you off because you're expecting ice cream that's sweet with yeah. a lot of sugar, and this one has no sugar. It just has a little bit of vanilla extract. Yeah. It just tastes like milk, but like creamy, thick milk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna try the non-churned ice cream maker. What do you think? It's just as good. I mean, it's very similar. Yeah. Maybe it just has like a little more air in that one or it's a little creamier. Now, let's see what happens if we add a little bit of sweetness. A little a bit tiny of- tiny bit of honey. Raw honey. Raw honey. I'm take gonna take it. Take as much as you want. <laughs> This was called out on the recipe too, to, to add if needed, if it needed some extra. Definitely makes it more, um, the honey tastes really good with it. Really? Yeah, it actually just brings out the cream flavor. I don't know if that makes sense. The milky taste. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Better? A lot better. You would recommend the honey, you think? Yeah, just a little bit of honey. It's really good. It's oh really my god. Good. With the honey, it's a whole other level. Yeah. That's a good combination. Definitely. I'm gonna try the ice cream one. It's already pretty melted, but <laughs> some of that honey. I could probably eat a whole Yeah. <laughs> a whole thing of one of these. <laughs> <laughs> this was so easy to make, right? Mm -hmm. How many ingredients? Well, technically just the cream and some eggs. And then if you wanted to add the vanilla, that would be a third. Some people add salt, and then if you want to add the honey, so four to five ingredients, well, actually three to five ingredients total. Easy. All we had to do was wait four hours for uh, the non-ice cream maker ice cream. And then this one, using the ice cream maker, only took 15 minutes, so it's a very hassle-free, easy-to-make dessert approved for the carnivore diet, assuming you can handle dairy. And it was with raw yolk, and you can't even taste the rawness of it at all. I mean, no. no one would ever know that there was raw egg yolk in it. Definitely not thinking about eggs when I started eating it. So now with that, we've tried both. Which one do you prefer? In terms of uh, method, I definitely prefer the one that was more creamy, which was using the ice cream maker. The oh. other one was a bit too icy for me, the one that you just froze and not churn. So this is the texture I prefer, a lot more creamier. Okay. What about you? I'm on the other side. <laughs> you are? Yeah, not, and, and not so much about the taste, uh -huh. but this one was, the way I'm looking at it is more hassle-free, so it's much more likely for me to just go ahead and whisk it together, put it in the freezer, let it sit for four hours, take it out and start eating. If I have people coming over, I'd probably use the ice cream maker just because I know it's gonna look a little more ice cream-ish. So. There we have it. We're kind of split decision on this one. Yep. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit subscribe because we're going to keep producing this awesome content for you. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.